Hello everyone, I'm Alex Bavalsik from HowToDoTech.com and today we're going to be talking about the weather app in iOS 7. So one of the most beautiful apps in iOS 7 has to be the weather app. Now it has a huge update over what we've seen in iOS 6 and 5 just based off of design. Now the app is still very minimalist and it's quite simple and it still uses Yahoo Weather as you can see on the bottom but with a combination of the Weather Channel now. So when we're looking at this the app is quite simple I can see all of my locations. So say I tap on Beijing which right now has 66 degrees it's mostly clear it gives you a nice starry night it gives me hours it also tells me at the bottom the next couple of days I can swipe through different locations like so I can also tap the list icon at the bottom right to go back to my list and say um, pick London which is actually experiencing some cloudy 66 degree weather and once again I can scroll through times scroll through places to Sydney Australia I could go to Alaska but I'm gonna go back to Sydney because I want to show you something else that's really cool you might not have known this but that temperature right now is actually quite big and it's actually hiding something if you tap on it you can see more detail. So right now I know in Sydney it's 71% humidity. There's a zero chance of rain. Uh, wind right now is 8 miles per hour and it feels like it's 52 degrees even though it's really 52 degrees. So again it's a really simple app swiping. Um, the farthest left is always going to be your current location but um, really it's a quite simple app. Of course I can switch to Celsius or Fahrenheit just with a touch of my finger. So we hope you have enjoyed this quick little tutorial. We know that um, this app really isn't the most complicated, but we do know that there are a lot of complicated apps in iOS 7. And that is why you should definitely click the annotation to go to our iOS 7 playlist. And from there, you can look at tons of other videos that we have about iOS 7. We also hope that you're going to like this video. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in a comment below or email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. We're also on Facebook and Google+, so you can keep in touch with the latest from How To Do Tech or get in touch with us there. Both links for both social media sites are in the description below, as well as a link to that iOS 7 playlist. Subscribe to the channel for more information about future videos, and once again, don't forget to like this video. I am Alex Bavulsic, and I will see you next time.